Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be discussing something different than usual. We're going to talk about the coronavirus, how it's affecting me and how it might affect you if you haven't been affected yet. So what we're going to discuss today is the precautions I've taken and also what, how it might affect me in the future if we go on a hardcore lockdown and how it's actually affecting the current country I'm in, what rules they've set into place and what we could possibly expect. But I think last week they introduced a new curfew in a way it's not really a curfew it's more of like uh the bars restaurants anything with the public gathering some things to close but most of the things to close at 3 p.m nothing to be open after 3 p.m so that's something what they what's currently going on right now so a lot of people are feeling the impact especially my friend who has a restaurant it's really affecting them but the government's also trying to mitigate that with giving some extra help such as zero tax uh, also increasing the pension of retired people. Uh, I don't know what went into effect, but I know for sure the tax thing went into effect because my, my friend just called me a couple hours ago and told me it went through and he doesn't have to pay tax. But he's still hurting right now. I don't know if he'll be able to even pay the rent at the end of the month. So it, the, the impact of it is pretty severe, even though we only have 85 cases. But, you know, whether whether your country is going to get a large economic impact or it's going to get a large infection impact it's going to be one of those two so uh, there is no you know it's either black or white there's nothing in the middle right now unless a vaccine comes out so right now currently i am in the current position not really affected that much by it i was affected when china was hit a lot of youtubers got affected not just in the fpv and everything because nothing could be shipped that's it it was done nothing was being manufactured and not only that even companies and, and everything so it's a, it's a it's just a hit after another hit it's an economic uh, disaster right now and i think it's only going to get worse for a little bit more and eventually maybe i think after a year we start get back on track this is just theory of mine but a lot of people are being affected as you can tell right here from the latest news uh, we already have a pretty large impact and I can see that, you know, my, my wife's friends losing their jobs, some not having the money to pay the rent. So, so here the government's currently taking a lot of precautions, a lot of things to mitigate this, such as tax free and increasing pension funds. I don't know if they've actually in, in, enabled that, but as far as I know, they're also planning on suspending all governmental utility bills. And I think that will include um, electricity, gas and everything of that nature. And I don't know what the government actually owns from that, but whatever I think it owns or maybe even most of that should be suspended and that should help people keep a bit of buffer cash in their pocket if they needed it for food um so it, it's it's pretty devastating actually right now the hardcore lockdown is what would really devastate the country but more than that what really impacts the most believe it or not is the rumors now as you see we only have 85 confirmed cases we obviously have more but the confirmed ones are 85 but when the country, when the government started to release these rules, you know, it's the 3 p.m. rule or whatever it was, everything, almost everything should close around 3 p.m., then the rumors kicked into high gear for like the past three days that this the country is going to go on hardcore lockdown on Monday, on Monday. So the past two, the past Monday and the next Monday is supposedly going on a hardcore lockdown, but that's not the case. But the problem here is just start preparing slowly because that's what I was doing. I was just getting stuff that I needed until it was uh, this weekend, this past weekend that just passed, where the rumor came out that supposedly Monday we're going to hardcore lockdown. And I was going to get food uh, in the supermarket, basically, or like the Walmart kind of, but it's like Tesco. So this is the, the Walmart of Europe. It's called Tesco. And I saw the shelves being pretty much empty. So I decided to take my precaution and make sure nothing runs out and took everything I needed. Now I was doing this step by step, but you know, when I saw that, I kind of took it a little bit into high gear, make sure I have enough food for the kids and everything, uh, which is my most priority water and food for the kids. That's the, that's the main thing that I have. And also anti-inflammatories like Panadol, you know, painkillers basically. And uh, made sure I had that and also the kid version of the anti-inflammatory if they get a cold or something. Um, so I make sure I have these things. So I reduce my chances of needing to go out and buy something again. But again, you know, Monday came along, nothing happened. And then I had to go back to Tesco to get diapers or something and uh, diapers and some other things as well for the kids. But then I saw everything was, you know, all the shelves were restocked. So... You know, these little rumors really affect a lot of things. Now, for example, let's just say the government is planning on a lockdown. Now, a lockdown is nothing. It, it could be it could happen. It's something normal and could be expected any moment. But they will give you a warning or they're probably doing it step by step. This is just a theory of mine. But a lockdown is still very much possible in any country. Some countries also already have their military since yesterday 
in the, in, in the country itself, not allowing anybody to leave unless it's an emergency. So, for example, let's just say the government was planning on doing a full-blown lockdown. And they're waiting for people to get their paychecks, give them enough time implementing these little rules here and there, just to kind of give them the heads up to start preparing just in case. Uh, before, you know, just saying, okay, tomorrow's a lockdown and everybody's screwed. But when these rumors come out, they really screw the whole supply chain. So, for example, this rumor came out and everybody emptied everything. So shops need a couple more days or maybe a week to resupply everything. And then they can't do the lockdown because the people that just got paid, you know, there's nothing to buy because the rumor came out before they got paid. And now those people that just got paid have nothing to purchase. And thus they have to extend the lockdown day. This is just a theory of mine. But um, uh, these rumors, you, it's, it's really terrible. And what you should really fear is the fear of people believing in these rumors more than anything. So keep an eye on the rumors. Don't believe in them, but just just. Just stay vigilant, keep an eye, and, and just be smart about it. That's the only thing I could uh, tell you. I don't believe any of it. Uh, there's a lot these past two days, constantly, bunch of rumors that we're going to close on Monday again. But I'm pretty much prepared, and I don't think it's going to happen yet. I don't think it would happen um, unless some, you know, thing went out of control. Then, yes, it might happen. That's something to be expected and something normal, and that's that's the way it is. But... You know, a lot of people are getting affected, except, you know, as you can tell right here, food delivery is not. But that's only in large in large cities. For example, my friend here is basically screwed right now. But you could only do so much. But they've also the government's working on people who have debt to work with, the, I think, the banks. And and there's all kinds of things that are going on that the government trying to put in place to help people. And also they're, they're going to tax the really rich people. Uh, in order to help uh, with the economic problems that are going through. But you can only imagine, we only have 85 cases. And because a government, see, either the government could take early precautions and have economic impact, or it could take late precautions and then still have both. You know what I mean? An economic and a virus uh, impact, basically. So, you know, just be prepared. Um, live below your means and keep as much cash as you can with you because that will come in handy, uh, especially if you need to get some water, you need to get some things. Uh, luckily, nothing spiked up in prices other than masks. It's, it's always good to be safe. What I always say is better be safe than sorry. So just prepare it to best of your ability and just, you know, have a plan. Uh, try to start planning ahead if you haven't been hit yet before it's too late. Because uh, governments are really taking this seriously and they're trying to slow it down. So how will this affect my channel? Well, currently like this, I'm not really affected that much. The only way it would affect my channel is uh, if we go on hardcore lockdown. And then I'd have to take everything home or probably just sleep in a studio. And um, that's about it, really. But if I do end up taking everything home, or I can't take everything, everything home. But some of the things home, then this is the kind of videos I'll be making. But not about the coronavirus we'll be discussing. Um, we'll be doing a lot of project PCB tutorials, some designing stuff, some hardware engineering stuff. And um, I think it'll be pretty fun, pretty interesting. So uh, that is what is to be expected. Hopefully that is the worst case scenario and nothing um, more than that. Hopefully they contain it. Hopefully the vaccine comes out soon. That would be really great. But a lot of people are currently in, uh, in, in, in trouble. And if you have an excess of food, see if your neighbor needs something or your friend needs something. Because you never know. So uh, just keep in mind these things and just live under your means and try to just have your vitamins, your um, painkillers, your anti-inflammatory, especially for you, your kids, uh, your pet food, whatever it might be. Just try to be prepared. I'm not saying go crazy, but just slowly and surely prepare yourself uh, because, you know, anything could happen. So that's currently it. If you guys want to know more details about this stuff, I can get into more depth of what's going on with people. But I just want to see your guys' reaction and just kind of do like a real video of what's going on and how, you know, we're lucky we don't have it that bad. And um, <clears throat> some people have it way worse, like Italy. Austria is kind of spiking up right now. I don't know if they've contained most of it. Um so the lockdowns are pretty serious and you should definitely just obey, you know, wash your hands, stay considerate of other people and also don't hoard everything. I mean, if you have the last four chicken breasts or whatever, take two, take three, leave at least one for a person. Maybe that person needed it. Uh, you don't know what what their what their case might be so just be also considerate of other people because just stay considerate and also obviously your family's number one priority 
But again, um, just try your best. There's only so much I could say. You know, it's difficult to make up what's wrong and what's right. For example, if I saw three chicken breasts, I might take two and leave one. Um, that's just the real case. But I wouldn't take everything unless it's the last one and I needed it. I would definitely take it. But um, yeah, that's you know, just stay considerate and also uh, don't hoard everything because you know this thing might be over tomorrow and some people didn't have food for two days. You just don't know. So it's 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 just crazy. I just. And, well, that's it, guys. Let me know if you guys like this video. I could do more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.